Hey brothers and sisters, this is Elizabeth Marie with Latter Rain 333. I come to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and I do this video for His glory and to share with the body of Christ the words, the dreams, the messages, and the warnings that I have received from Him. If you are not receiving notifications of my new videos, then I would suggest that you go ahead and re-subscribe because I've had a couple people recently write me that they're not getting notifications. That way you will know when I put out a new video. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, uh, that's where I put the majority of my words, dreams, and visions that I get from the Lord. I only put out messages on YouTube for the most part, unless it's a very severe warning from the Lord. I do put the warnings out on YouTube, but for everything else, and I do get a lot from the Lord, uh, I usually do a monthly newsletter so I can, I can get them out there. And that is because, and the Lord wanted me to read this to you today, in Matthew 10, 27, that is because it says this in Matthew 27. Whatever, and this is Jesus talking, whatever I tell you in the dark, speak in the light. And what you hear in the ear, preach on the housetops. So here Jesus is saying that when we hear things from the Lord that are for the body of Christ, that we are to share it. And if you hear it in the dark, meaning when you're sleeping, then we need to speak it out so people can hear it. And we are to preach it on the housetops. So if you are hearing from the Lord, it is not just for you personally, then the Lord um, encourages you through that verse to go ahead and to get it out there so others can hear it as well. And that's why I bring all these things to you, brothers and sisters, through either the YouTube warnings or through my newsletter. I will have the link down below again, like I said, uh, if you want to sign up for that newsletter. All right, now, um, I want to go ahead and read this message that I received from the Lord. Uh, you're going to have to listen carefully. Um... The Lord has been telling me to be very careful with what I put out there now. And so he, I feel that some of these messages uh, is going to take uh, open eyes to see and open ears to hear what the Father and the Lord Jesus is saying. So you might need to listen to this a second time or you can go to my blog and read it yourself and pray for discernment and further understanding. Now, I have received many warnings about another plague or, or pestilence that's coming, and I don't know if it's more than one. I don't know. The Lord hasn't shown me that. The first time the Lord warned me of, of plagues and pestilences coming was all the way back in 2018. I will have those videos uh, in my blog, so if you want to look at the older ones, you can. Um, I have been also, I was also warned about a mystery virus that was coming. I got that in December of 2019. And I didn't release it, I don't think, until the very beginning of 2020, uh, January 2020, not knowing that it was going to turn into a full pandemic. And uh, The Lord told me it was a mystery virus. And now the Lord is, has given me a couple more uh, messages and dreams that there are going to be more that are coming, or at least one more that's coming. I've been shown that the skin is going to be affected, and it's also going to affect people's blood as well. So I believe that the Lord is warning his people and it's because when you hear this message I'm about to read to you, it's because he wants us to get healthy. He wants us to strengthen our bodies. He wants us to take a conscious effort on our part to, to get healthy and to get a stronger immune system. So I'm going to go ahead now and read this message to you. It's fairly short. Hang in there because I have a couple things to say at the end of this uh, message. Here's the message. There is a new storm brewing on the horizon. It is a dark black cloud that is filled with the power of the enemy. That I heard pathogen released. It will sweep the world in record time for the craft has now been perfected. It will have demonic origins as it taps into the ancient ones. There is nothing new under the sun. It just gets repeated in a different way. But the consequence grows stronger and stronger. <clears throat> when this new sickness comes, seek me for a cure and for protection. Be careful how you walk so that you do not open the door to its entrance. 
I call to my people to take care, excuse me, I call to my people to take care of their temple, their bodies, which is the temple of God. It says in 1 Corinthians 6, 19, or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? Back to message. Seek pure, undefiled food and strengthen your bodies so that you will be, be able to fight off whatever comes your way. Seek out natural, wholesome foods and remedies that I have provided in nature. More importantly, claim healing through my promises in the Word. I came that you might have life abundantly and that you would be set free from the wiles of the devil. Seek that life now. Seek that freedom now. I call on my children to walk in life abundance, regardless of what Satan's agenda is. Walk in my word by proclaiming and declaring the truths that lie within. Pray and proclaim the key to the kingdoms. I'll say that again. Pray and proclaim the keys to the kingdom. Bind and loose, for these principles are very effective in the spirit world. And you can read about that in Matthew 16, 19. I speak through my vessels to warn, encourage, and exhort. <clears throat> I am pouring my spirit on all flesh. Many will not receive, but for those who do, their, their reward will be great. Walk with me now in the garden. Let us commune together. I am here waiting for you to spend time with me. This is how we will grow our relationship together. It is a choice. You choose. I am always here, knocking at the door of your heart. Open that door and receive. And it was signed, Jesus Christ. A little bit later, I heard this. I heard a pandemic is coming. Prepare for it. Lose the weight. Stop eating sugar. Get in shape. What is coming is worse than the last. And that was the end of the message, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> so the first thing I want to bring out to you from this message is about binding and loosening. That's, these are principles. It says these principles are very effective in the spirit world. And I, that's true because I use those principles in spiritual warfare. How to bind and how to loose. You can read about it, like I said, in Matthew 16, 19, and I will be doing, Lord willing, another video explaining how to do that in when you're doing spiritual war, uh, warfare, how to bind and how to loose. So um, go ahead and start studying that and ask the Lord to give you some further understanding in that and how to do those uh, that spiritual warfare. Um, the next thing that the Lord wanted me to share with you is uh, about being healed. I will have a... Uh, on the blog where this has uh, been transcribed, I will have quite a few verses on how to be healed. And these are very important to claim Scripture, to claim Scripture. You know, the Lord talks about He wants us to live a life abundantly because He has come to set us free. Well, this is why, brothers and sisters, He gives us the tools that we need to do spiritual warfare so we can be set free from all these demonic attacks that can come upon our bodies and, and other things in our lives. He gives us those tools. And like I said, I, I feel the Lord is leading me into <clears throat> doing a better job of explaining to you the spiritual warfare, the things that I have learned, so that you can walk in an abundant life. It says in John 10.10, 10, The thief does not come except for to steal, kill, and to destroy. And this is Jesus talking, but he says, I have come, Jesus has come, that they may have life, and they might have it more abundantly. This is what Jesus has for us, and we must learn how to appropriate this abundant life. And it also says in John 8, 36, Therefore, if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. So, brothers and sisters, I ask that you meditate on those verses and ask the Lord to show you how to be walking in this abundant life. And like I said, um, I'm going to do uh, s some more videos and explaining like what I have been shown, and hopefully it will help you. All right, so in Matthew 24, 
<clears throat> I want to end with this. It talks about the pestilences that come during the end times, the last days. It says, for nation will rise up against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And that's where we are. I believe we are in the beginning of sorrows. And pestilences is one of the signs. Uh, let me go ahead and I would like to end with one of the healing verses. Um, I'm going to do Jeremiah 17, 14. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. James 5.16 says this, Confess your trespasses to one another <clears throat> and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. And of course, the one that is the biggest one is that by Jesus' wounds, we are healed. By Jesus' wounds, we are healed. Proclaim and declare that, brothers and sisters. Thank you for coming now and listening to what the Lord has shown me. Know that I am praying continually for my brothers and sisters. Stay strong in the Lord and be blessed. Amen.